Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. I have an absolute treat for you today, a vast all three custom colour scheme army for you guys to check out. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at it in more detail, but if you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 32 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a vast army like this, characters which we specialize in or a small force then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to the siege studios website and our contact form once you're there all you need to do very simply is select all the relevant drop down options from those that are available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format fire that off to us to get the process started we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome all three army in more detail see you guys back in a sec So let's jump into this huge Ulthway Elder army with the four characters as always, we always start off with the characters. Um, we've obviously got a Spirit Seer, we've got an Autark, Eldred, Ulthran himself and also a Warlock as well. So it's four really, really uh, diverse character models for this Elder army. Um, again, all painted by Terry here at Siege. Um, so let's jump in and have a look. We're going to start with the Spirit Seer. Again, a really, really cool model. I like specifically the way that Terry has glazed and glossed the, um, the kind of visor aspect of the face mask as well, which is really, really cool. Um, you can see obviously the main colorways obviously this, this black and bone scheme which is very iconic for Oathway but at the same time I've used obviously like a purple kind of accent colour for a lot of the power weapons and other bits and bobs which we'll see across the force. Um, all the gems done in the complementary green as well to that purple so they do complement really nicely. Um, but every aspect of detail fully painted, fully highlighted with multiple stages of highlighting on all the areas including the gold work and uh, every aspect of cloth work for example. So the bases have got a very unique kind of uh, style and scheme to them. They're kind of like a very much like a steampunk-esque uh, kind of finish and look. A uh, very industrial world kind of thing and you'll see that across the force with loads of cogs and things um, and you'll see that of course we go through these characters individually in a minute um, so that's just the spirits here from the force next up we have the autark as well again a really lovely lovely model um, in a very dynamic pose just landing or leaping off that that door there uh, again you can see that sort of industrial kind of basing as well with a bit of like glow from some like i don't know what that is on the base but just it's glowing away probably some toxic waste or something but anyway um Black armoured uh, suit, as you would expect within the L3 character. And then obviously you've got this lovely cream robe on the back as well. But really absolutely love these uh, these wings on the Autark. All of those individual plumes just subtly, subtly glazed just so they have tonal variation from where they, the, the root, so to speak, to the end of the feather, which is really nice. Um, and again, you can see every aspect of the armour fully edged through multiple stages, all the little individual gems and everything highlighted as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just this Autark. I do specifically like the fact that the helm is also done in... In bone as well just really denounce that and just you know makes that part of the model stand out quite nicely along with the gun and the pommel of the sword uh, so that's just the autark we'll jump across we'll leave the main mantle we'll last but we'll have a look at the uh, a really really classic and this is actually a metal model so this is a very very old old gw model but still holds up the test of time and uh, looks great with a really really killer paint job on it as well you can see really nice blended blade there as well um, on his four swords and uh, just obviously all brush blended as well which is really lovely um, again the same consistency from model to model on all the gems highlighting and uh, pouch work and all those different bits and bobs you can start to see this kind of steampunk-esque kind of basing with these cogs and things that these uh these elder are on as per our client request so that's just this um warlock and then we'll have a look at good old Eldrad himself. Again, first of all, the plastic version of him, really, really lovely. Super, super iconic model um, that, that needed a new model. And uh, GW did not disappoint with this guy. So uh, so again, straight away, let's start from the ground up. You can really see that kind of steampunk-esque kind of basing now on the um, on the model with all those cogs. Uh, something that our client requested and which we've executed for them. Um, again, all the little bits of uh, Elder kind of writing on the, uh, on the tabards of the cloak. That's all been done by hand as well. The completely brush blended sword as well has been done uh, and again all the little gems runes and things have all been done in that complementary green to the purple really denotes them and makes them stand out against the black but um but obviously it's a lovely color choice when it comes to the accent color of purple just to complement that as well S very subtle transition on the black cape work as well which is really really cool um, so that's just Eldrad again super super cool model in a very very dynamic pose as we'll see there so that's just the last of the four characters of the force next up we're going to have a look at all the infantry there's loads of wraith constructs coming so stick around guys uh, I'm sure you're going to love those along with all the guardians they're coming up next see you guys back in a sec So next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this Ulthwee Army Commission. And uh, there's a lot of them, as you'll see. Uh, we've got 12 Storm Guardians, 24 Normal Guardians. 
We've got 10 Wraith Guard and 10 Wraith Blades. Uh, all really, really cool different units. So let's pull a variation of them forward for you guys to check out. So we've got some of the Storm Guardians first of all. There's 12 of those, and uh, just get that to focus for you guys. Uh, Storm Guardians are more sort of orientated towards close combat with chainswords and shuriken pistols, as you'll see there. Uh, but again, the same consistency from model to model when that lovely steampunk um, it's kind of basing that's on the industrial basing. Uh, but you can see all the edging done on all the black armor, complementary green uh, gems as well, with the eye lenses all done as well which is really nice the uh, storm guardian upgrade pack is a fine cast upgrade pack as well so you'll note that uh, but a really really cool set of additional weapons and bits and bobs to add on to your normal guardian kits here as well uh, we'll just have a look at the one that's got the uh, rhino door on the base as well there but as you can see all in really cool poses uh, with loads of little bits of detail on them which is really really lovely so that's just one of the storm guardians uh, we'll then move and have a look at some of the normal Elder Guardians here as you'll see this is one of the operators for the support platform uh, with the extra lenses and things as you'll see there but all the additional little, little bits of, um, of gem work all done on the screen visors on the little um, sensor array and stuff as well which is really lovely so that's just one of those pull forward another guardian for you to have a look at again really really cool models guardians have lasted the test of time uh, but um, I envisage a new kit coming very soon hopefully uh, again this is another one of the uh, guardians but with us with a I believe the uh, weapon or the melter is from the storm guardian upgrade pack as well uh, and maybe the head as well I believe so that's just another one of the storm guardians here as you'll see but a really really awesome awesome selection of models in this force I jump across to the other squad just you can see another one of the um, another one of the melter wielding um, guardians here as you'll see but again, really, really, really cool selection of poses as well. But just that. We'll have a look at some of the support platforms from the Force as well. So again, here you can see the little gems and everything done in green. That bone and black scheme throughout the Force as well, which is really lovely. So that's just one of the support platforms. Uh, and then we'll jump on to probably my favourite infantry from the Elder Range, which is Wraith Guards. Uh, let's start with some of the Wraith Blades. Uh, and Terry's done a stellar job of doing all of these axes and shields with this lovely super super soft transition from dark purple through to like a pinkish kind of color which is really lovely all the gems there as you'll see all fully painted all the edges done as well in a consistent fashion across model to model which is really lovely so that's just one of the wraith blades pull forward another one for you guys to check out from the same unit again in a bit more of a stoic pose uh do love the split on the bone and black on these guys as well like the kneecaps and things and a lovely subtle transition of dark purple to like a more sort of pallid purple here on these loincloths as well uh so that's just another one of the wraith blades um we'll jump across and have a look at some of these wraith guards as well with the lovely weapons that they've got again all of the units have got their unit markings on as well just so you can distinguish them from unit to unit but again another really lovely finished wraith guard here so that's just one of the shooty ones jump across to the other squad so you can have a look at one from the other squad with the other unit marking on him Again, this lovely industrial kind of steampunk esque basing that's been done across the force as well uh, to finish off the model is in a very, very lovely standard. So that's just another one. And then we'll move across to have a look at the other squad of Wraith Blades. Uh, again, the same consistency from model to model. So you can really mix these units up as much as you like, obviously, between the shooty and also close combat, and they'd all fit in very well together. There wouldn't be any that would be denoted by different finishes or painting styles or whatever the case may be. Consistency from unit to unit and model to model is exactly the same. Uh, that's uh, another one of the really cool wraith blades here and then we'll finish off with one more from the wraith blade unit just so you can have a look at him uh, again i love these sort of uh, wrist shields things that they've got which is really cool again all the little gems and everything all fully painted as well so that's just another one there and uh, that is all the infantry from this force guys up next we've got lots and lots of armor um, and uh, some extra gun support platforms plus obviously a, uh, a wraith knight as well so they're all coming up so stick around they'll be back shortly So up last, let's have a look at all of the tanks, support platforms, and the Wraith Knight of this L3 army. A really, really cool selection of the armoured units from the Elder Range in this army, which is really nice. And again, Terry's done a stellar job of just using that complementary purple for screens, weapons, and all those bits and bobs, just to really denote those, those kind of areas on the models as well. Plus, obviously, the lovely green scattering of gems across all of these models. So we'll start with the little support platforms, little D cannons. We'll start with those to start off with. And again, as you see, they've got two crew each, um, and obviously, 
the same style. All the screens and everything all fully painted, all the little lenses and dials all done in that green as well to complement the rest of the force. Uh, nice scattering of the cream to black ratio as well, which is really cool. So that's just one of the D platforms. Uh, the other two are exactly the same. Uh, we'll then look at one of the wall walkers and I do love the uh, transition of color on the screens. I think they're really, really lovely on the windshields, as you say, little catch lights in there as well. Uh, Terry's done a great job of picking out all the buttons and dials and things as you'll see uh, on the little command columns and control columns, little red buttons and dials in there. Uh, but again, all the edging done throughout on this force, all the little gems and everything all done as well, which is really lovely. Um, the other wall walker is exactly the same. Um, and then we'll have a look at the first of the three wave serpents. Again, a really lovely tank. Um, I do like the upgrades that they've had on it as well. You can see all the little gems and bits and bobs that have all been picked out and painted on those, but all the edging done on all the armor panels, uh, just to really show every single armor panel. Again, you've got that lovely purple windscreen on, on this with that lovely subtle blend and transition down there. All the little gems and everything all done. And you can see that steampunk-esque basing that's been done across the force as well, even on the uh, tank bases as well. So that's just the first of the wave serpents. The other two are exactly the same. Um, but just to show you consistency, I will pull forward another one so you can have a look at another one. Just so you can have a look at that one. Again, exactly the same as the other two in the force and the previous one that I've shown you. This one's just got a different armament as well um, with the scatter lasers as opposed to the bright lances on the previous one. Um, but then you can see all the little gems and everything all done across the force and across the little back of it as well. But every edge all fully done on all of these. Again, really love the, scat the, the split between the bone to black as well, which I think is really nice. Uh, then we'll have a look at the fire prism, the real heavy hitting part of the force, which is really, really cool. Again, all the uh, sort of uh, energy weapon core and bits and bobs are done in the purple as well as a screen. But again, you can see less gems on this, obviously. Only a few of them is one just there on the turret um, and all the little catch lights done on the uh, windscreens and gem parts of the uh, of the weapon as well, which is really lovely. So that's just the uh, wave serpent, uh, not wave serpent, fire prism, sorry. And then um, let's have a look at the big guy himself. So the, the Wraith Knight, just get him out of there. Um, again, just to start off with the bottom, you can see this steampunk-esque kind of industrial basing that's gone across the force. We've got this awesome, awesome sword that's got a lovely blend on it from darker to lighter portions as well. Same on the shield here, as you'll see, uh, with some of the gems obviously all painted on here. The massive central chest gem is obviously done. Very much like the spirits here in the character sections video, the the, uh, the head has got that lovely sort of gloss sheen to it as well, which I think is lovely. Uh, and then moving around, you'll see the back of him as well with all the little areas of armor panels all picked out as well uh, and the scattering of gems done on him as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just the Wraith Knight of the Force. Do hope you like him. We're back in a second to have a look at the whole force again in all its glory, just to find out how you can take out an army project with us here at Siege. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll see you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out guys, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you have liked this vast Ulthwi army. Uh, we had an absolute pleasure working on it. I know Terry likes working on all the characters, vehicles and uh, infantry with that lovely purple accent. If you are interested in a vast army like this, uh, or a character which we specialize in here at Siege, or even a small force, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the drop down options from those that are available for your requirements, and in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get the process started, and we'll come back to you with a quote. Now, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor. Firstly, thumbs up the video, and also, if you do hit that bell icon and subscribe, you will be notified when all the new videos do go up on the channel. Uh, lastly, in the description, you'll find all the links to our social media, so Twitter, Instagram, and also Facebook. If you can go give us a like and follow respectively on those, we will uh, you'll be able to get, keep up to date with everything that we do here at Siege. Thank you ever so much for watching the video, guys. I do hope you like the army, and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.